You know, last weekend being on the road for our third uh, weekend in a row, um, you know, always going out on the road, it takes a battle on our kids, um, you know, but at the end of the day, we got to come in and be ready to execute. I thought we were ready uh, before we stepped on at VCU and Davidson. Um, just during the matches, we didn't make our adjustments fast enough. A couple things that, you know, really hurt us um, were our uh, discipline on defense. We would keep moving when they're still attacking. That's something that we know that's within our control. We got to make sure we're not doing. Um, you know, we got some good block touches. We just didn't convert off of it. Um, you know, our attackers, our timing, um, putting us in a good position to transition really needs to be our focus. So uh, not the outcome we wanted at all uh, from this weekend. Uh, we knew it was going to be a challenge. Um, it would have been one step closer to our A-10 goal, um, but we're not there. So we have three more coming up this weekend, uh, three more coming up over the next two weeks. Uh, to put us into our position to still make that A-10 tournament and, and secure that six seed. So um, not what we wanted, but I think a good growth from our team. Uh, these girls are resilient. Uh, they do, uh, they are focused. They do what is asked. We just need to make sure that they're doing it on every play throughout the whole game uh, and never stopping. So that's our goal going into this week. Um, it feels really good to be home. We always love playing on our home court and defending the Rose Hill Gym. We've got uh, field trip day coming up, so the gym's going to be packed for that. And we've also got Kristen's senior night, so there are going to be a lot of fans here for that. So I know the energy in the gym is going to be really great, and it's going to be a great environment to play in. Personally, we talked a lot about the fact that uh, this weekend we faced two really good blocking teams. So for me, focus on attacking was just getting around the block, doing something smart with the ball, um, and then the focus Going into next weekend is kind of the same thing, just uh, being smart with shots, not swinging away. We know we can hit the 10-foot line if we want to, but that doesn't always work when you have another big kid against you, so just being smart. Um, yeah, so we already played them once this season, so we know a little bit what to expect. We came out with two wins last time we played them, so we're really hoping for the same outcome this weekend. So we've got a week of practices to prepare, and I know everyone's really excited to end the season off with some wins. Um, I think it's helpful that we know we can beat them. We've played them on the road, both teams, um, and we've handled ourselves really well. So I think just making sure we don't expect to win because we've already won, but also knowing and having the confidence that we can win. Um, and we're a better team. I think it's a great weekend for us coming up. Uh, we have George Mason and GW at home. Uh, we did take them down the first time, um, but it's a clean slate. We're at a certain point in conference uh, with uh, everything else is we need to take care of on our side. We need just to focus on us. Um, so field trip day is on Friday. I'm super excited. I know our girls are extremely pumped. Um, I know that they're going to enjoy and thrive off the environment of having over a thousand uh, fans, something that we have not done or we do not get a chance to play in front of. So excited about that. Um, and then GW, you know, uh, both teams um, have had a good last weekend. Uh, they're going to come in hungry. They're going to come in ready to go. And we need to be us, play our game. Um, at the end of the day, we can control what we do, uh, we can control our energy, we can control our taking care of the ball, we can control um, us just playing to our highest level and communicating and so that's what we're going to plan on doing. So I'm excited for this weekend, um, celebrating Kristen uh, as her last, uh, second to last home match of the season uh, and kicking her off in the right way with three wins uh, to take us into A-10s.